course, we've been worrying about what our <clears throat> what's for in for her when we pass on, and one of the things that we've been concerned about is keeping her employed. Well, so far, Goodwill has kept that employment. I'm a father of a 51-year-old daughter who has mental retardation. She was born in Rapid City, South Dakota at Ellsworth Air Force Base. And at that time, she was uh, diagnosed with mental retardation. She was also a tremendous feeding problem. And a lot of the doctors that we had seen recommended that she be put in an institution. Well, my wife and I made that decision. That wasn't the route to go. And in 1994, Goodwill took an interest in her and trained her. <clears throat> Excuse me. She ended up uh, starting to work for Good, uh, Stratcom headquarters at Offutt Air Force Base. And she's been with them with for 17 plus years now. Initially, she was just doing washing rags, and that was about all they thought she could do. But they soon found out that she was capable of doing many other things, and consequently, she's been promoted, so to speak, and her pay has been raised, etc. <clears throat> in 19, 2009, she received a Marco Award, and uh, in November of 2009, she ended up re winning the Northwest Region Award for Ability One. And then she was recognized as a participant in the national award. My concern is that uh, <clears throat> does the government want us to keep these folks on the dole, or do they want to let them be productive citizens and work in our workforce and end up paying taxes, et cetera, like everyone else? I would hope that they do. But in my opinion, over the years, the people that end up getting cut First, whenever there's a government cutback, happens to be the developmentally disabled. <clears throat> people that are low, have low esteem, low education, and people just down in their, job, their luck. The people at Goodwill serves. Oh, I mean, she, she just, oh, when she's home on a weekend, she drives us nuts. She wants to work. She's, she's been very good with her hands. She does like to work. There's no ifs, ands, and buts about it. Uh, right? <laughs>